guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we're going to talk about the samples i pulled in this past week sample sunday basket so i have everything in my little container here so we're going to go through those pretty quickly and pull some new samples the first one is the shampoo by abba this is the gentle shampoo with po i can't even speak pro quinoa complex it says it's a soothing shampoo for sensitive scalps i think it was just a fine shampoo the smell was okay i didn't feel like it was overly potent or anything like that it did a good job of washing my hair but it wasn't something after trying it one time that i was like oh my gosh this is the best shampoo ever so i probably wouldn't purchase it but it was good so just not anything that i fell in love with the next thing is from Novex. This is the My Curls. This is a shampoo for hydrating and defining long-lasting curls. For me, what I feel like this did to my hair is I feel like it made it heavier. I feel like each strand of my hair felt like it had a lot of weight to it. I'm not sure if it like wraps each strand with like some sort of complex or something. I have no idea, but it made my hair feel heavier, which I actually enjoyed because my hair typically feels very thin and fragile so this made my hair feel like it was stronger and healthier healthier i'm interested in looking into more things into this brand because i feel like maybe this might be something that i could use to kind of strengthen my hair because my hair is not very strong so i'm gonna look more into this brand because i am intrigued the next thing is from Cetaphil. This is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I really enjoyed this. My dermatologist had recommended that I try this a long time ago, and I don't know why I never did. I was just like kind of stubborn, I guess. I think it's when sometimes when people tell you to do something, you're like, no, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to use what I like. So, and, and it's weird. You should just, especially if it's your doctor, you should try it. So either way, I tried it really did enjoy it i feel like it's definitely comparable to my purity the one from philosophy it's pretty comparable to that except for i feel like this is a lot more gentle i feel like my skin was not dry whatsoever this was really nice so i would actually consider purchasing a full size of this i know they sell like cetaphil like bottles at, at um not sephora but ulta and then also costco so if you're interested in trying it out i would check one of those two places because I feel like maybe Costco might have the best deal or like Sam's Club or something like that. Because you can get the bigger bottle for a better value. That's what I always look for. If you're going to use something consistently and you know that you enjoy it, get the big bottle. <laughs> That's what I do. The next thing is this right here from Dior. So this is the Dior Rouge. So it came in this really pretty packaging. And it's four lipsticks here. I really love these lipsticks. I actually went ahead onto Sephora's website and found this shade right here which is 772 it's a classic matte it doesn't say like a shade name other than that I found that shade on their site when I hadn't put it into my favorites because I really want to purchase this I really enjoy it it's a 772 classic matte is all it really says it doesn't really say anything like names so their names are all just colors the delicate matte was fine the matte red, red, I don't really love reds and this bright pink. I'm not a super fan of like bright pinks either. But this one right here really called my name. So I would love to purchase that one. The next thing was another lip product and this is from NARS. This is the NARS Power Pigment Matte and this is an American Woman. I thought it was a red lipstick because the back of it has all this red. But it's not. It's actually the color right here on the front. But this is really cool how they did this. Is it in here? Nope. It's over here. So they did this in a way that was very unique in my opinion. So it comes in this package and then you twist it and then you've got like this little applicator here. So it's kind of like using their product with a applicator in itself. So it made it really nice to try out. So typically you have to like use your fingers or they'll give you like a little brush. But this was an actual little applicator and I felt like that was really cool. This is another color that I ended up adding to my loves list at Sephora because I love this color. These are like my colors like where they're like that movie shade I guess kind of like what I have on my lips today it's not really like it doesn't really look like I have a lipstick on but you can kind of tell there's something going on there so really did enjoy that one as well then we have from first aid beauty this is the coconut micellar makeup melter this is really nice I really really like this so for me what I have been using is the Kapari coconut melt I have tried the Clinique take the day off um I've tried several cleansers the Kiehl's but this for me is very comparable to the, um, oh my gosh, the one I just named, Kapari. It's very similar to that, except for I think this has a thinner consistency to it. The Kapari is a little bit thicker, and then it thins out as you put it into your hand as, as it warms up with your skin. This one already comes out a lot thinner, and it just works really well. I didn't find that I had any kind of milky haze over my eyes. This works really well for removing my makeup. I am using little cotton rounds, not cotton rounds, but they're like, microfiber rounds is what I've been using to take all of my makeup off with and it worked really well with those so I would definitely consider purchasing this it was nice then we have two perfumes here we have one from 
Juliet has a gun, it's anyway. This is actually fine. I don't know why, but I, I'm not a lover of the Juliet has a gun fragrances. I don't think that they're like my key, like my favorites or anything like that. So for me, it was just, it was fine. Then we have the Guerlain, the Mon Guerlain. This smells really, really good. This to me smells like, I don't know, it reminds me of my mom for some reason. This reminds me of my mom, so it smells like beautiful. It's like a beautiful fragrance. So I liked the Mon Guerlain, but the anyway, nah. I think I could pass on that one. Then we have the Shiseido. This is the Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion. It has SPF 50. We didn't get really any sunshine, but you guys know that I use an SPF every day, no matter what, even if you're not really getting any sunshine, because there are still, you know, the, the rays and everything in the, in the light and everything, the outside. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak today, guys. So there are still rays that you need to protect your skin from. So for me, I felt like this was fine. Did I feel like it was better than anything that I've ever tried before? No, my favorite right now is still that Ulta one. I really love the Ulta spray that I showed you guys before. I'll show you again. It's this right here, the Ulta Beauty Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's a rose water setting spray. I like this because you can put this over top of makeup. You can put this on the days that you're not wearing any makeup. So you can use it whenever. This, you have to kind of put it underneath your makeup and then there's no way to reapply it. So this, you can reapply throughout the day. I like this way better in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for a good SPF for your face, I would def definitely check this one out. And that is it for last week's sample. So I think I had a pretty good roundup here of product. So I think it was good. It was a good mix and mash of things. So now we're going to go on to pulling some new samples. I've got my skincare basket here. I'm going to pull three out of this basket. The first one is I'm digging down deep into the basket. Mmm, we have Mario Badescu Rose Hips Mask. I've tried this recently and I really did enjoy it. I think it was like last week actually I tried one like this. So I'm going to put this to the side to go into y'all's basket. The next one is First Aid Beauty Intense Hydration for Parched Dry Skin. Okay, I thought it was going to be the cleanser again. I'm like, what in the world? So this is a lotion for your skin. So I'll try that one out. I have the, I've tried now the cleanser. So let's try the lotion. Too bad I didn't pull them at the same time. Then we have... Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray for Thirsty Skin Relief. I think somebody had before had recommended that I try this, so I'm excited to try this out. I really like Clinique Skincare Line because I feel like it's one of those lines that's like tried and true, so I'm excited to try that out and see how it works for my skin. The last thing in here is Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Oh my gosh. I just finished one of these, so... I'm not going to try it again because I've just finished a full size of this because I got it in like boxy term I think it might have been and I fell in love with it so I'm not going to try it again for your channel our channel but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the side I'm not going to share with you guys I feel really guilty no I will share it okay it's going to go in your basket gosh I really love that cream though and it's really expensive okay so let's pull another one out of here for me the next one is um this is some institute this is a boost I have no idea what this is. So I have to try this out. I've never seen like this packaging before. I remember seeing it for some reason, but then again, I don't. I'm not exactly sure where it came from. So we'll try that out. So we've got our three skincare products. Now we need to pull our perfume samples. I've got them sitting behind you guys. So we've got them in a the little jar here. We're gonna pull two out of the jar. The first one is Coco Chanel. Oh my gosh. I think this is the one that everybody keeps telling me I need to try. I'm really excited about trying that one. Yes. The next one is Cozy Cotton. It doesn't have a name brand or anything on here. I think this was like a Walmart brand. So this one's Cozy Cotton. So we've got our two perfumes chosen. Now we're going to move on to the makeup basket. I'm going to pull two out of here. The first one is, ooh, what is this? <laughs> the name came off of it. I don't know what that is. I'm going to set that to the side. I have no idea what that is. The next one is... Sephora. So this is the Sephora. What are these? These are the brilliant um, lip colors, I'm assuming. So we've got four lip colors here. You've got a cream red shade that's called Belly Dancing. We've got Love Spell. We've got Enchanting Blush. And we've got Rebel, Rebel Chic. So I'm going to try these out and see how good those are. So now back into our basket. The next thing is, oh, what do we have here? Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. It's been a while since I've tried Bare Minerals Foundation, so I'm like, I'm excited, or like their powder foundations. I have, I think it's like a BB cream, I'm pretty sure is what I have from them. So I have to try this out and see how good that is. 
Then we have our hair care basket. This one's so heavy. I guess because hair care products are a lot heavier than most other things. The first thing I have is the Numa. This is the Revive Revitalist Hair World. What? It's an instant fix. I feel like we've tried this recently, so I'm going to put this to the side to go into y'all's basket. I'm pretty sure I've tried that recently. I remember seeing it sitting on my bathroom counter for some reason. The next one is, ooh, this is a big one. This is the, I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name to this. This is Weedad. Udad, I have no idea. Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Ooh, that sounds very intriguing. It says it's for curly, it's a curl primer. That'd be good because I do have naturally like wavy hair, so we'll see what it does for that. The next one is, ooh, what do we have here? We have Wella. This is the Fusion Plex Conditioner. I think we've tried the Fusion Plex shampoo, so now we'll try the conditioner out. So I have a shampoo and a conditioner to try this week. They don't typically go together, but we're going to put them together anyway. Now we're going to move on to our giveaway for this week. So I've got my banana bag here. This is full of goodies from last week that we pulled. So what I'm going to do is find my phone. I was watching the Ellen show while I was getting ready, so I need to turn her off. We'll go into the comment section for my sample Sunday from this past week. And we're going to scroll. So I'm going to scroll and find a winner. So we're going to scroll up and down. Oh, I just closed the app out. Oh my gosh. I'm so smart. All right. So ready? Two, three. Where do we land? We have Samantha Barfield. Samantha Barfield. I think you even left a fun, kind of funny comment too this week about not being picked. So there you go, Samantha. You did get picked. So sometimes my technique works. I'm telling you, if you do like giveaways, I find that the easiest way to do it is just try to do it as random as you possibly can. So go figure. You got picked. So the next thing is our giveaway bag for this week. So we've got another banana bag and inside of here is another head. What is this called? shower cap i was gonna say a head cap it's not a head cap and then let me grab the basket down here sitting oh okay i've got it i'm gonna go ahead and throw in whoops sorry guys i'm gonna throw in the lms the mario badescu and the numa so they're gonna go into the basket as well so i've got everything over right here so we're gonna scoot through here and grab 10 samples out for you guys so the first one, I'm digging to the bottom here. The first one is from Clinique. This is a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So I just told you guys I really do like Clinique. I feel like it's a very tried and true brand. So we've got one in the bag. <clears throat> the next one is, ooh, what is this? We have the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. So you've got a mascara. The next one is, ooh, perfume. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Perfume. I really like that one. It smells very summery. The next one is something weird. What is this? Oh, Alterna. This is shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I really love the smell of this. This is the Alterna Caviar Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Moisture Conditioner. So that's going in there. That's four samples. The next one is, I feel like this might be shampoo again. Nope, it's not. It's masks. So you've got the L'Oreal Transform Skin in 10 Minutes Masks. So you've got the exfoliate and refine wait a minute are these all the same like okay pure clay so this is red algae eucalyptus and charcoal so there's three different types here so that's i think five samples and then we're up to <laughs> five more to go the next one is kapari coconut crush scrub i really love kapari i think it's a good brand i'm not so in love with this product i'll be honest but you might have a different feeling if you get this bag the next thing is the On The Rocks, this is by Drabar, On The Rocks Clarifying Charcoal Shampoo and Lightweight Replenishing Conditioner. There's seven samples. The next one is, oh, what is this? It's weird. It's just paper. Oh, this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. Samples like this, I feel like you should get an extra one. So we're going to give you an extra one. That makes seven again, so we're still at seven. The next one is, oh, I dropped it. Let's pick it back up. Ooh, look at this. Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So you've got a good one now. So now you have eight. And then the next one is, ooh, what is this? We have the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Delish. This is a good bag. It's looking like a good one this time, guys. And then the last sample is Diva Curls, the Build Up Buster. This is the Micellar Water Cleansing Serum. So this is a little serum for your hair. So everything is going into this goodie bag right here. And Samantha Barfield won the past week's goodie bag. So I will be mailing that out to you. All you have to do, Samantha, is look in the description box, find my email address, 
mail, mail me, send me your mailing address and then I will mail out your banana bag. So I'll have to get this one zipped up. It's like packed full right now. So anyway, that is our sample Sunday for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know. Are you sorting your stash? I heard a lot of you guys tell me that you were sorting your stash. Like I have mine sorted, which makes me really happy because I feel like this is how I save money when I purchase makeup and skincare and hair care and perfume because I've tried it. So if I know that I tried it and I don't like it, I'm not going to purchase a full size on it. If I haven't tried it, then of course, then I can still make mistakes. But this is a good way to try to try products out so you're not wasting money in my opinion. Let me know what are some samples that you've tried recently. Were they good? Were they bad? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.